What is up, YouTube? Today I'm coming back at you with another gaming pickups video. Um, before I start this one, I just want to say that um, if you guys haven't checked out my 500 subscriber thank you video, go check that out. I'm doing a Q&A to celebrate my 500 subscriber milestone. So if you have any questions for me, uh, I'll pretty much answer any of them. Uh, go to that video and leave a comment and I will give you guys a shout out when I answer the questions in that video. Not sure when the video is coming out, just waiting for enough comments to make a decent sized video. So, um, yeah, let's get right into these pickups. Uh, I don't have a whole lot of games. I actually only have two things that I picked up recently just because of the holiday season. And one of these was a collector's edition, so it's it just, um, I just didn't have a whole lot to pick up. But I'll talk a little bit about it, each one. So, this first one I picked up, um, there's no particular order. Uh, the first one I picked up is actually still sealed, and I'll talk about why in a second. And this is my only still sealed game, and that is Shovel Knight. Now, Shovel Knight I already own on the 3DS, which is why it's still sealed. But this is the PlayStation Vita version in physical form. Um, originally, they said they weren't going to do a physical version of the uh, of Shovel Knight for Vita, but um, after many many requests, they said that they would they they kind of caved and they said that they would do a limited physical release. Um, basically, they had pre-orders up for about half a year. Uh, I signed up for a pre-order and this was mailed to me. So, but uh, what why they had pre-orders open so long was because that unlike limited run where they just every man for himself on the release day, they wanted to make sure that everybody who wanted a physical version got a physical version, which is which is how I think limited release games should be done because it makes it it makes it attainable for everybody rather than it being a collector's item, which it is also a collector's item, but um, it is also something that I really wanted to support because I, I want to support physical games for the Vita. Um, so basically on their on their Twitter page, once this came out, they announced how many copies they had pre-ordered, sold, and then how many copies are totally available. So um, they had sold uh, like something like 3,200 uh, copies that were physical. And uh, the, the total amount, including the ones sold that they had physically made, was like 5,000 almost exactly. So there's only 5,000 copies of this on Vita. Um, I'm leaving mine sealed just because I already have it on the 3DS. I'll, maybe I'll open it one day. Maybe, I, I don't know. I might trade it for an open version of the Vita one. Just, I don't know. But right now I have it sealed and I really like it. Um, it's a great game if you've never played it. Uh, you can, if you don't want to pony up for the Vita version, you can uh, you can find because I think the Vita version is actually five dollars more expensive than the physical Vita version. I should say it's five dollars more expensive than normal. Uh, you can basically I think you can get this on 3DS. I know you can get it on 3DS because that's what, what I have it on also. Uh, you can get it on PS4, I think you can get it on Xbox One, and I know you can get it for the Wii U. So, um, a lot of systems to pick it up for, and it's all the same game, just a little bit different stuff. Like, this one comes with Kratos in it. Um, I'm not sure what's on the 3DS version, I think it's just the 3D effect that's special for that, but really cool game. Now, the last thing that I picked up is something you may have already seen if you watch my channel regularly. And that is uh, a collector's edition of... Final Fantasy 15. This is the Final Fantasy 15 Deluxe Edition Steelbook. Uh, the reason why I got this is because, number one, the Steelbook of Final Fantasy, and Final Fantasy is one of my favorite RPG franchises, so I had to get it. But number two is it also came with the Kingslave movie included, and this Deluxe Edition I think was only $25 more expensive, which is almost, it's a little bit more expensive than a, a normal Blu-ray price, but if I were to add in buying the Blu-ray separately and then buying the game, I'd be I'd probably spent five dollars extra, and then I also get this in a limited edition, which is kind of which is kind of nice. So all in all, I thought it was worth it. Um, here is the steelbook itself. It's a really really nice looking steelbook. Really cool artwork. I'll open it up. But um, for those of you who haven't played this Final Fantasy, this is a very different Final Fantasy. Uh, they mix things up a bit. Um, it reminds me of Final Fantasy XII. So if you're a fan of Final Fantasy XII, 
or Final Fantasy Type-0, but more Final Fantasy XII, you'll probably like this game, because, um, like Final Fantasy XII, this is an open-world game. Uh, it is, you basically run around, Final Fantasy XII kind of had, like, a, a primitive version of this, but in Final Fantasy XV, it is completely open-world, You no loading screens, you just run, if you see a monster, you can run up and attack, it's got a full action combat system, um, it is actually really intuitive to use. Some of the controls are a little weird, how they map things, like the teleport. The teleporting gets a little, takes a little to get used to, but um, all in all, I think it's a fun combat system. Uh, you can choose your own difficulty, which is nice. You, um, it, it's, the dialogue's great. The movie that comes in here uh, is a must watch before playing this game, I think. It offers some much needed backstory before you start the game, because when you start the game, it just kind of throws you in there and expects you to know uh, what has happened in the movie. So uh, I'm glad it comes with it. Um, and I, if you have the normal version, I highly recommend getting the Kingslave uh, movie and watching it in some fashion because it's uh, it really flushes out the characters in the beginning. So uh, really cool game. Uh, I have a, I haven't beat it yet, so. Um, but I have a feeling this is going to be one of the most popular Final Fantasies because just the just the atmosphere, the game itself, the story setting and stuff, it all feels like it's a it's it, it's shaping up to be a really good experience. So, I'm happy to have that. All right, so that was everything I picked up. I know I talked a lot about those two things, but those are two things that I really liked and um yeah, so let me know what you guys think in the comment box below. I know I didn't get a whole lot um but uh, hopefully I'll get some more stuff soon. So thank you guys for watching. If you have any recommendations, leave them in the comment box below. I respond to every single comment I get. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. See you later. Peace.